Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Long Pond, Pennsylvania, Pocono Raceway for the Tricky Triangle 400. Pocono is not only famous for its gorgeous mountains, but it's also famous for stock car racing at the 2.5 mile triangle shaped track. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Carl Reeves in his first pole award, substituting Master Dragon 4000 because he is on a one week suspension for intentionally wrecking Brandon Powercar. And starting in second is Colin Bargain on the rise and trying to be the regular season champion. In row two, H.J. Hollis and J. McPillar, the two racers that were involved in an overtime wreck last week at Chicago. In row three, Bubba Wheelhouse and Brandon Powercar. In row four, Cruz Ramirez and Phil Tankson. In row five, Daniel Suarez and Cal Weathers. In row six, Bobby Swift and Brian Spark. In row 7, Jackson Storm and Ryan Laney. And starting in row 8 are Chase Raceline Lightning McQueen, last week's winner at Chicago. Here's the race format. 8 laps, 20 miles around the 2.5 mile triangle shaped track and pit road speed is 55 miles per hour. Again, this track is a triangle shaped one, so there will be um, a three turns instead of four. The pace car is off to the pits. Carl Reeves and Colin Bargain leads the field to the green flag, and the tricky triangle 400 is underway. Carl Reeves is already doing well against his teammate Colin Bargain. He could be a potential driver for next year. A.J. Hollis kind of looks a bit suspicious. How oh, he's running fast and not right. Brandon Power Car, pretty controversial because he wrecked the number 41 Mass Dragon 4000 a month ago, which led to the events of last week where the 41 and Mass Dragon 4000 got suspended. Carl Reeves leads the first lap of the Tricky Triangle 400. Now they're trying to make it three wide, but now they're two by two for second place H.J. Hollis and Colin Bargain. H.J. Hollis running away with second place, meanwhile Car Reeves with the best car right now. Lightning McQueen moved four positions from the 16th to 12th place. I feel like he's trying to find the speed that he was lacking in qualifying. Colin Bargain slammed the wall! I bet he was going too fast into turn two and then just brushed this car and just slammed it. Brandon Power Car running away with third place and also trying to get second place. If Brandon Power Car wins today's race at Pocono, he will be locked into the playoffs and possibly cause an entire playoff war. Carl Reeves leads the first two laps of the Tricky Triangle 400. I guess this track is made for him. Or Stuart Haas racing equipment is better than Radier Springs racing for beginners. Here's a train with Cal Weathers, Brian Spark, Cruz Ramirez, and Lightning McQueen. Now it's Ryan Laney side by side for 11th place. Cruz Ramirez versus Ryan Laney. Now Cruz Ramirez is trying to advance to 10th place. She needs to make up all of her points so she'll be able to advance to the playoffs after Darlington.
Hey, Shay Holes trying to catch up to the number 41, Akar Reeves. Nothing is stopping the 41. Side by side for second place, H.J. Hollis versus Brandon Power Car. Five laps to go here at Pocono Raceway. Now they're one by one. Yeah, there's a single foul line. Carl Reeves leading the field and get ready for the halfway jam. Trouble front straight away. Bubble Wheelhouse loses an engine. Smoke coming out of the back of the number six and the caution will come out. Looks like we're gonna have a green white checkered restart. Let's see what just happened. So while we're in the halfway jam, the six's engine has expired in the front straight away. As you can see through one of the pit cams, he almost caused an entire pile up in the front straight away. I bet that would have been horrible if he didn't turn to the left on time. Let's have an onboard with Phil Tankson. Like I said, he almost caused an entire car pile up if he didn't turn to the left on time. We'll be right back since Bubble Wheelhouse brings out the first caution of the day. Welcome back to the Tricky Triangle 400 from Pocono Raceway. We're ready to go back green. The lights are off the pace car. And we're going to have to do a green-white checker restart, as I said earlier. So the rules over time. If the leader gets the white flag, the next flag will end the race. So it doesn't matter if it's a caution or the checker flag. So if the leaders do not catch the white flag, they're going to have to restart again. We're having unlimited attempts like usual. Carl Reeves right now is trying to win the race. I feel like the Stuart Haas Racing is just pouring all of the resources into one racer before they split into one car by the end of 2024. They're going to stick with J.D. McPillar only. So that means uh, Master Dragon 4000 and Colin Bargain are going to have to go on their separate ways away from the four. Which means they might um, uh, lose a ride or go with another team. Master Dragon 4000 has been saying that uh, he wants to stay with Ford but he's trying to look for a ride right now. So his free agency is open and Colin Bargain uh, wants to go to a different team possibly with Spire Motorsports. Alright they're about to restart double foul. So Carl Reeves to the inside. Nate Shea Hollis to the outside. I have not spoken of, of uh, Stuart Haas Racing just shutting the rest of their teams down because I've been distracted mostly. They're shutting down in the NASCAR Cup Series and turning into a one car team and going into two cars in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. The pace car is up to the pits. Here we go with our first green-white checker restart. The green flag is back in the air. Overtime restart number one is underway. Jay McPillar trying to make it three wide already one before they enter turn one. Now they're entering turn one. It's Carl Reed versus H.J. Polis for the lead. 
Jay McPillar trying to get his third or fourth win of the year. Brandon Power, Carnage, Jay Hollis flying away from the 52 of Brian Spark, Cal Weathers, and Carl Reeves. Now here to go through one of the long straightaways on this big giant 2.5 mile triangle. Now they're heading into turn 3, AJ Hull is still in the lead against the number 7 of Brandon Power Car. Now you see that joke of what turn 4? Because there's no turn 4. The white flag is out, the next flag will end the race. Doesn't matter if it's a caution or a checkered flag. They're three to four wide behind the pack. They say Hollis might be a bit suspicious on trying to win the race. His car modification could be illegal or something. The entire field is having a hard time trying to reach the number 16 and 7. Now here they go through the long back stretch. Now entering turn two. Hey Shay Hollis has been struggling for weeks and the 52 of Brian Spark just slammed the wall. The same way that Colin Bargain did on a few laps earlier. There's not that much paint damage. Now, coming out of turn number three. A few miles away from victory. Hey Shay Hollis will win the Tricky Triangle 400. Along with Brandon Power Car finishing second place, third Cal Weathers, fourth Brian Spark, and fifth JD McPillar. Congratulations to HJ Hollis for winning the Tricky Triangle 400. Cal Weathers a few inches close from reaching to the number 60 and 7. And also, Brandon Power Car, no luck on trying to advance to the playoffs in his rookie year. Even though I'm not expecting that much from a rookie. Hmm. Cal Wetters might be observing the 68 and 7 to see if uh, they cheated or not. Cal Wetters is just radio in saying that the 7 spoiler is a bit off. So we're going to have to check post-race inspection, and I'm up to update you on that. Unfortunately, we have some bad news. Both H.J. Hollis and Brandon Powercar failed post-race inspection, so H.J. Hollis' race win has been stripped and disqualified from first to last place along with Brandon Powercar. The official winner is Cal Weathers, so congratulations to him. Anyways, here are the official results. J.D. McPillar is the fastest car of the day. Next week, we're racing at Indianapolis Murder Speedway for the Brickyard 400 starting July 17th at 2.30 p.m. Pacific and 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat Herd 27, signing out.